is a mindfulness course to help people to reduce their pain and it was all about I'm doing the body scan and I was laying down in a room full of people and all you could hear was snoring as everybody including the person leading it fell asleep so we're all different of course we all have our own experiences but this is something that I find always relaxes me so much and there's a degree of boringness being, you know, it's quite tedious as well, which means that your mind is focused on something that isn't particularly exciting, which is a good thing if you're, you know, going to sleep. At the beginning, it's quite nice because you're focusing on your body and maybe you're surprised at how easily the muscles in your body just seem to automatically relax in fact just by pressing the play button and hearing my voice you may automatically feel more relaxed especially if you're a regular listener I know it's a bit strange and with me I don't generally listen to myself but sometimes I do occasionally I listen to a recording I've done I put it on the telly uh, either watch it on YouTube or listen on a podcast and I song out completely fall asleep why I think it's weird is because it's much easier to fall asleep when someone else is talking when it's your own voice it's for me it, it's that part of my brain thinking that's me that is but even then there's that sense of boredom whilst going through the parts of the body and then going back through the parts of the body and then going back again so that's what this session is about the session doesn't end when I stop talking the session lasts as long as you want it to it really is just an exercise in repetition but the repetition in this case is focusing on your body relaxing however when you first focus and even the second time or the third time or the fifth time you're not trying to cause your body to relax just like sleeping you can't force relaxation relaxation can be asked for you can expect it you can enjoy it you can observe feeling relaxed but it can't be forced it's like you can't look at the sky and force it to rain but when it does rain you can stand out in it if you want or you can get some shelter and observe it and it just happens naturally just like when you, you watch a fish a goldfish in a tank or a fish in a tank you can watch it and it swims around you're not making it swim you're just watching it swim because that's what it does naturally it swims around it's probably not in that tank thinking oh look someone's watching 
watching I better better put on a show so just in a way as you observe the parts of your body and we're kind of observing the muscles in your parts of those bodies those parts of the body but when you focus on your arms focus maybe on the muscles of the arms it's not about uh, being muscular it's about just focusing on those parts of the body that maybe have been holding stress like with me I find that the back of my neck holds stress my shoulders uh, my stomach my lower back and probably my eyes my forehead and my jaw at times and there's a technique where you can just literally ask your unconscious mind and you can say this internally Ask it firmly, ask it knowing that this will happen. So it's a request, but it's kind of a command at the same time because you're the boss. If you own a company and you're the boss of that company and you say to one of your workers, uh, can you please go to the bank and get, you know, this money into the bank although you're asking at the same time you expect it to happen because you're paying that person that works for you and this is much bigger because the unconscious mind is us it is you. It's not separate from you. It wants to help you. It's always waiting for you to tell it what to do. It's always listening. It's always taking notice of what you're thinking about. And it takes those thoughts, what you're thinking about, as commands, as suggestions. Thinking that that's what you want more of which means it's so important to focus on those things you want those things that you need focus on those things that you really require for yourself
expect to feel tired naturally and easily and maybe instantly the second you lay down on your bed your head touches the pillow your mind slows down and for those of you that maybe sleep in a in an armchair which some people do it's the same principle expect to fall asleep naturally safely for those that sit up in the bed and sleep that way expect to just fall asleep naturally and easily and expect that during the day think about time to sleep or how it's going to be when you lay down on your bed and have those the only thoughts connected to sleeping the thought that you're going to fall asleep easily and completely completely naturally So I'm going to start this body scan and I'm going to do it a couple of times and I'm going to just ask you to continue doing it until you fall asleep and if you, let's say we start at the top of our head, moving all the way down to your toes if you get down to maybe your stomach and you drift off and you kind of come back awake a little bit and you think, oh, where, where, what body part was I at? Don't worry about that, just start again at the top of your head and just keep focusing on each part of your body down to your toes and then start at the top of your head again. Just keep doing that longer need to do that and just allow yourself to fall asleep naturally without any kind of worry about it no concern no worry just observing and scanning your body and noticing how you feel in each part how each part feels without any kind of judgment starting now you can start with your forehead just observe how it feels and sometimes just by observing it and focusing on each individual body part that part seems to just feel more relaxed moving on to your eyes and your eyelids just observe the feeling moving down your face into your jaw and your mouth just observing front of your neck, the sides and the back of your neck and if you want to you can also observe your head, the scalp your ears then moving your focus down your shoulders down your arms to your hands and your fingers just observing how they feel focusing now on the front of your body your chest all the way down to your stomach Focus 
focusing on your back. focusing on your sides now focusing on the whole of your hip area Inclu includes your buttocks, your groin that whole area which also includes the tops of your legs as you focus on your legs moving all the way down to your feet and your toes just observing and now starting again on your forehead your eyes your jaw and your mouth of your neck, the front of your neck, and the back of your neck, the shoulders all the way down, your arms, hands and fingers, the front of your body, your chest, your stomach. Focusing on the muscles in your upper back, the middle of your back and your lower back. And then focusing on your hip area, your groin and your buttocks, and the sides of your groin, the sides of your hips, inside your thighs, outside your thighs, the top back all the way down, your knees, calf muscles and shins, ankles into your feet, the bottoms of your feet, top of your feet, the sides of your feet, the heel of your feet, the arch of your feet, your toes, toenails, the feeling in between your toes. especially 